Hello and welcome to the Theology of John Wesley and his Theological Forebears. My name is Dr. Joseph Wood and uh, I will be teaching this class for you, guiding you through your readings and your questions. We'll be hoping, hoping to have some good discussions take place. And in the end, I hope that you uh, come out with a better knowledge, a better understanding of who John Wesley is, about Methodism in general and its origins in the 18th century, and in particular, the influences of John Wesley's theological thinking. A little bit about myself, my name is Joseph, as I said, and I'm a Trevecca grad. Uh, I did my undergraduate and an MA at Trevecca. Um, I finished in 2005, and then I moved to the United Kingdom. I moved to Manchester, England to continue my studies. This is where I am currently. I'm based at Nazarene Theological College in Manchester, England. And uh, below my feet at the moment is a wealth of Wesley resources. The Manchester Wesley Research Center is based here at the college. And so many, many of the things that you are reading in your online versions, the originals, are just below my feet. I'm excited to teach this class because I really enjoy uh, history. I enjoy, uh, in particular, John Wesley and uh, Methodism and its growth and its development. So this is the third time that I've taught this class uh, for Trevecca, and each time it's gotten better and better. This time I'm adding videos um, because I find that this online type of teaching and learning, you do miss the face-to-face -face, um, getting to know one another. So I'm going to at least let you see my face a few times. Just a couple of things as we begin really quickly. If you look through your syllabus, and as you look through the assignments and things, um, we'll have a chance to discuss those a bit more as the course goes on. I just wanted to show you, though, the textbooks. This is Charles Irigoyen. Um, it'll be backwards because I'm on an iPad. But this is John Wesley, Holiness of Heart and Life. It's just a brief history of Wesley and 18th century Methodism as it grew and as it spread. It touches on theology, but it's mostly giving you a background and a history of John Wesley himself. The theology course book that you have is called The New Creation. It's uh, John Wesley's Theology Today by Theodore Runyon. You'll get into that book a little later. Um, but these are the two key textbooks. The majority of your reading will come from primary texts, which are all online. Uh, you'll see links to those on your syllabus. But I wanted to highlight, I haven't written this into the syllabus because they're brand new, but there's a resource called Seedbed, Seedbed Publishing. And they've put together a series called the John Wesley Collection. This is one of those. This is called John Wesley and the Letter to the Romans. What they've done is they've put together a number of primary source materials that are um, grouped in, I don't know, in, in subjects or in themes. And, and this one, the theme is Romans. And the Book of Romans really impacted Wesley. And so what Seabed have done is they've, they've put John Wesley's journal entry, Martin Luther's preface to Romans, Wesley's translation of Romans, and his notes on Romans to give you four primary source insights into how Wesley understood Romans and how it impacted his life. If you don't know anything about Wesley, you will find out why this is significant and why the book of Romans in particular is significant for him. But I just wanted to highlight those, seedbed.com, if you're interested. One more note about myself. I am married. I have, uh, I'm married to Kat and she's a Nazarene elder here in Manchester. She pastors a church um, just outside the city center. Um, I'm, uh, we have two children. We have Evelyn, who is five, and we have Miriam, who is nearly two. Uh, I'm originally from Tennessee, but I've been in the UK now for just about 11 years. I look forward to the next six weeks together um, feel free to email me with questions. There is a time difference, so I apologize if I'm not able to get to you um, as soon as you would like. There's a good number of students in this class. There's 16 of you. Um, it's actually quite a large class for online studies. And so I'm looking forward to this, and I hope you are too. Um, this is just the beginning, so I will see you online.